So we are living with an equation which says, as is the outer world, so will be my inner world, is how we are living. The truth is not that. The truth is, as will be my inner world, so will be my outer world. So if I get the basic equation wrong, I can mess up with everything after that because my basic equation is wrong. So we don't need science to prove this. This is already proved in the Sanskriti, in the culture of Bharat. We know this since thousands of years and it's called Sankalp Se Srishti Banti Hai. Our thoughts create our world. It is not our world creates our thoughts. Welcome to this podcast on thinkright.me with the radiant light of wisdom, Sister Bhikhe Shivani. Thank you so much. Uh, today we complete five years for a journey that we started, uh, you know, around mindfulness, around bringing about a change in behavior, attitude, lifestyle, many, many aspects uh, through thinkright.me. And I still remember the early days when we were trying to define how it would impact and shape people's lives. And today, sitting five years later, uh, it's been a journey that has really been around good thoughts, right thoughts, uh, as we move forward. I think we released it in 2018, December. And it took us about a year when we started brainstorming and concept and content and all. But when we started, because it was an app, so obviously it was going to be short content, you know, like two minutes, three minutes. And my belief system up to then was that you need at least 20 minutes of content to start creating a shift inside you. Especially in a time when you're flooded with so much content throughout the day, just two minutes cannot really bring about a change because you're consuming hours and hours of another quality content. But because it's an app, and you cannot have longer audios or videos. It was meant to be two, three minutes. So it was more of an experiment. And I believed at that time, five years back, that this two, three minutes would be an initiation. That, you know, somebody takes it up and then somebody benefits from it. And then they take their journey forward and start, you know, taking more and consuming more. But on this journey of five years and when I travel and I meet people and people share their experiences, I've met so many, so many people, all age groups, professionals, youth, who have said that they experience change in themselves, their personality, their behavior, which has also reflected in what they're doing and their situations of life. And they say, it's thinkright.me. Initially, I thought like, no, three minutes cannot create a change. Three minutes can be just like a, you know, a taster. Okay, just taste it and now you start your journey. But even three minutes can bring so much of a change is something I've learned from them. You know, it's from practical experience, evidence, and people have shared specific situations out of which they came. People have shared how they have shared it with other people because they benefited. So that's the proof of the power of content on our mind. Mm. So I think thinkright.me was created, conceptualized, and released, whether a disease, whether those who went through it, and those who lost someone. Mm. So, I mean, the whole thing that had happened before 2020, just in 2019, yeah. it was as if the divine was getting it done at the right time, mm. you know, that before an exam came, we were being given the solutions. And uh, so it's really, I think it was just so perfect, the yeah. timing that, and especially so many people were at home, they had the time. So those people who say we don't have time to automatically started drifting towards content which was going to energize them because consuming a lot of what we were seeing from media what we were hearing in our own families and friends everybody needed that little so the timing was perfect and it started pandemic time really started the journey of thinkright.me for many many people mm -hmm. and then once you start it and you benefit with it then it becomes a part of your lifestyle yeah. so it's like any other diet if I experiment with, okay, I have this in the morning or I eat this in my morning and then I benefit with it, then it's over. Then it's with me forever. Then it's become a part of my lifestyle. So five years has been a lot of learning. For me, a lot of learning and a lot of understanding how the human mind works with even this much of content, how much potential it has. And then, of course, 
hearing first hand experiences mm -hmm. is always an inspiration it's yeah. such a learning program. yeah and you know what you put it so beautifully right before the exam there was yeah. some tool that everybody Absolutely. had to be able to yes. you know take it forward and if you remember our initial discussion was that education actually yes. taught us what to say and what to do right whereas the source of both our action as well as speech you know emanates from thought Thoughts. and yeah. the power of thought to be yeah. able to change your situations mm -hmm. to be able to you know really impact your life in more ways than you can imagine right. Right. it was our belief and yes. you know it all got tested through the pandemic and right. like you rightly say there's so many people you know who have benefited and our idea you know is also to to kind of you know go a little deeper into these aspects of you know mindfulness uh, manifestation affirmation meditation you know what do these terms really mean uh, how do people how can people make best use of these tools that are being governed through Absolutely. situations right yes. so so if you were to you know start with say maybe initially mindfulness mm. right uh, and you know just to kind of explain to even people and larger general public as to what does being mindful really mean uh, and and how does one make those little shifts uh, right. you know on a day to day basis to be mindful more and more you know of the time than not being mindful uh, we've always that? used the word mindful but we use the word mindful saying be mindful of what you're saying mm -hmm. be mindful of what you're doing so which means just take care that what you're speaking or what you're doing is right don't make a mistake so what is needed at the right time in the right way the appropriate behavior the appropriate words so we always taught be mindful you're going there they are going to be there you be mindful what you're going to say to them be but we had not thought that be mindful of what you're thinking mm -hmm. so we were mindful of what we were speaking behaving doing living mindfulness is about be mindful about what you're thinking mm -hmm. so that take care that here you're not creating anything which is not right for you because it is this which will come out in words and behavior so we were taught to take care of words and behavior but it will not always work because it's starting here so this is the first energy i create i cannot say anything unless i've thought of it i cannot there cannot be a word which i have not first created here but it's just because we were never checking here so we were not aware and we said no it just slipped out of my tongue i do not have that intention i never but it's not true it's not possible this is an outlet of an energy that we have created what i do is an outlet of what i have thought but we were not taught there so we were taught here and there so mindfulness only means that that now take care of what you are thinking and if i take care of what i'm thinking i don't need to take care of what i'm speaking how i'm behaving because if i've not created a wrong thought I will never have a wrong word. But most people will tell you thoughts just come to me. Just come right? to me. They are not in yeah. my control. Right. And, and when know, we say come to me, hmm. we are not even saying come to me. We are saying come to me. So you know that thought just came to me as if it's coming from somewhere outside and it's coming and hitting me here. Again, because we're living, believing that the thought is created because of the situation that I am in. If I had to ask anyone who is the creator of your thoughts, they'll immediately say I. but how does the vocabulary go i'm irritated because of the finger is outside i'm upset because so and so did this i'm happy because such and such thing happened today so i am reaffirming that everything that's getting created here whether it's stress whether it's irritation whether it's anger whether it's love whether it's happiness whether it's worry whether it's jealousy whatever i'm creating here i'm saying it's because of something outside this itself was fundamentally wrong because then i thought that my thoughts are just dependent on the outer world this is called emotional dependence mm. and when i become emotional dependent that means power will now start reducing because now here will only be dependent on what's going on here so there are two worlds outside world and the inner world the inner world is intentions so not just my thoughts my intent Mm -hmm. so i create a thought of meeting you what is my intent behind meeting you is it to share is it to give is it to get mm -hmm. what is my intent so it's not just a thought that i'm meeting you what is my intent so intent is the most powerful karma so that's why we were taught that your 
bhav and bhavna behind the karma is more important than the actual karma so mm. that is the intent so my inner world is about my consciousness who do i believe i am then my intent then my thoughts and emotions feelings and then it comes out into words and behavior so this is my inner world my outer world is about my body the health of my body my situations my people so that is my outer world so everything that's happening in my life is my outer world everything how i'm responding to that is my inner world so now there are two worlds one out of these two worlds should be in my control mm. my life will be fine so which means there needs to be certainty in one of these two worlds go back 30 40 years there was more or less a certainty in the outer world mm. the weather would be how it would be in which mm. month there's a little certainty age marriages profession you join a company you were there till the age of 6 you know so there was a certain element of certainty mm. and in that era if you make your mind dependent on the outer world it's fine mm. no more or less work okay so we were not talking about stress 25 years back when you and me were in college school there was no such word as stress it was only in physics we were not living our life saying i am stressed you are stressed we are stressed it was not there there was just a little tension one day before the exam one day before the result and that's all so and it was high pressure education i mean honestly when today's children say oh it's our education but then i feel what are they even doing now compared to what we were doing mm. you can't even compare how we have done our 10 standard compared to what a child today is doing 10 standard mm. so what are we trying to do in the education system we're trying to make it easier for them honestly not a very good idea mm. not a good very mm. good idea mm. you cannot reduce pressures if someone is going to the gym they are not going with the intention to reduce the weights that they are going to lift they are going to increase the weights that they are going to lift that is going to be an indication of their health mm. that's the purpose so when you and me did 10 standard icse we did three year subject in our final board exam mm. three years and two exams in a day mm. so we were going to school at 8 o'clock in the morning coming back at 4 o'clock in the evening five days we started on a monday and we finished on a friday and, and it was know. over yeah. so five days two exams of three hours each exam covering a three year syllabus it's called pressure and yet we were not talking stress leave alone saying anxiety attack and panic attack those words we did not know come today they have one year syllabus one exam then a week's holiday mm. then one exam i mean yeah. if we were we would have finished our yeah, studies yeah, in that yeah, one week yeah, only yeah. so why are they saying that it is the education system which is so it's not the mm. truth yeah. it's not the truth so what are we trying to do we're trying to simplify the outer world mm. Mm. change this change this make this easier for them make this easier for them the more we are making it easier the tougher it is still becoming for yeah. them so because it was not about reducing the pressure it should have been about building up the resilience yes. so stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience so mindfulness is teaching us to take care here so if i start taking care of resilience which means how i think how i feel and i strengthen that resilience on a daily basis not just that i'm taking care i'm strengthening it because pressures are increasing yeah. so that is what is mindfulness but if i keep creating all sorts of thoughts and then i'm depleting that inner power and even if i reduce my pressure i still don't have the strength yeah. to face it i still don't have the strength so we need to start focusing on the denominator and it needs to start in school yeah. now best is to start actually the right time to practice meditation and mindfulness is when the soul is in the womb of the mother right that means during those 9 months if a couple starts experimenting and experiencing this you have sown the seeds at the right time mm. now for that child it will be a natural way of being and living mm. and you've written yeah, a destiny because the what? world what you said the outside world has become so uncertain yes. so disruptive right. so unpredictable and you know what you rightly said in our days we could go through those exams yes. today the word mental health, health and stress right. is now coming to children. children it's coming so you know to be able to deal with a world like this i think the earlier one gets, gets into it. the habit of taking care of the inner 
self yes. rather than trying to control the outside which anyway which anyways not under out. your control so is one of them the yeah journey. one of them needs to be yeah. certainty yeah. so one is let the world be perfect then it's i'll be yeah. fine here yeah. the other is i'm fine here now let anything happen correct i have the strength to be able to face it life is in control <laughs> but if this is also not in my control and this is also not in my control yeah. then life becomes very difficult for people because they feel they're very helpless nothing is in their control and then the slightest trigger outside is creating chaos yeah. inside and over these last years we have missed touching upon that aspect of creating that strength inside and you you're right if everybody is strong from inside the outer world will automatically, will automatically. you know shape up yeah. so you know so coming to that next point right yeah. like once you're mindful then you have the ability through the process of affirmation and maybe we can go a little deeper into that through that process be able to shape your situation your world in a in a better way you know when people talk about it 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 only resonates with people who have experienced that or those who go through it and see an outcome because scientifically you know or the way at least where science is today when we try and talk about thought influencing your situation rather than you being reactive right. to a situation it doesn't resonate you know with many people of course quantum yes. theory and mechanics are trying to prove that but we are still a while away before science you know really proves that right. so some thoughts around that so why we need to practice mindfulness or meditation or affirmation because meditation many of us have an immediate reaction oh i cannot meditate i tried it's very difficult it's simple but unless i invest a little time and learn it and then make it a daily habit it's difficult because i've not tried it out but affirmation is something which even a kindergarten i mean even kindergarten children are able to do it it's so simple because affirmation is nothing it's only a thought everyone knows how to create a thought so any child who can speak you can teach that child to do affirmations so i think it can happen right from the age of 2 and 3 so it's like a prayer right it's if a, you say a prayer it's just a thought first you say it's just a thought even yeah. a prayer is something more to learn yeah. Yeah. it's just a simple thought and everyone knows how to create a thought mm -hmm. and everyone knows how to say a short line so as you are teaching your children how to speak if we were also teaching them the right vocabulary which means speak in a way where your every word is a high vibration word then we are already teaching them a vocabulary of affirmation so ideally affirmation need not be just a set of my 10 thoughts or five thoughts affirmation is something we're doing anyways throughout the day but what we need to consciously do is positive affirmations i could be creating negative affirmations throughout the day and i'm not aware of it when we say i am stressed and i can use that word five times in a day i'm stressed is an affirmation i said i'm stressed then i say i'm busy i don't have time is an affirmation people are saying it like multiple times in a day not now i'm very busy not just now later i'm very busy now if i say i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy it's affirmation so any line that i'm repeating often is an affirmation so i'm affirming it every line that i repeat is creating an energy because i'm creating it here then it's radiating to the vibrations of my body then it's radiating to people and it's radiating out into the universe and it is becoming my karma my thought is my karma now ye to we know ke karma creates our destiny which means the energy i create i will get a consequence depending on that energy also so my thought is my first karma we all checked our karma but we used to check only again words and behavior i spoke right with them i behaved right i was like so we gave all tick marks to ourselves but if i did not think right so karma is just the energy i create so my thought is my first karma so when i start creating positive affirmations i'm creating the right karma mm. but if i'm doing negative affirmations i'm creating low energy karma now why should i create high energy words especially when situation is not high energy if everything is perfect i'm like everything is perfect but to be able to say everything is perfect when nothing is perfect outside mm. so why should i say everything is perfect for that i need to know the equation so we are living with an equation which says as is the outer world so will be my inner world is how we are living the truth is not that the truth is as will be my inner world so will be my outer world so if i get the basic equation wrong i can mess up with everything after that because my basic equation is wrong 
So we don't need science to prove this. This is already proved in the Sanskriti, in the culture of Bharat. We know this since thousands of years and it's called Sankalp Se Srishti Banti Hai. Our thoughts create our world. It is not our world creates our thoughts if it's not going right at my workplace. So we are saying outer world creates my inner world, which is wrong. The truth is, if I'm happy, my body will start healing. If I'm happy, which means I'm creating the right thoughts, my relationships, entanglements will start getting sorted out. If I am powerful and positive, my work issue will start getting resolved. So first and foremost, every child needs to be taught the equation of life. Now, if that is the case, how does one first, of course, you know, step a little away to say, okay, you know, it's me who is creating my life or that gap. And what are some of the easy affirmations that people can do, create it, you know, on a day to day basis, given the multiple challenges, you know, people have issues with what you said, health, mm -hmm. with income, with relationships. What are some, I mean, can we have some examples, so, right? Yeah. Let's just start changing our vocabulary. Okay. So if I say I'm stressed, I'm going to change that word stressed to what I want to be. So affirmation means create that thought, what you want reality to be. It's very simple, very simple. What do you want your reality to be? You want to be stressed? Keep saying I'm stressed. And you will create a lot of stress. And by next year, your stress level will be higher than what it is today. So just keep saying it. You don't want to be stressed? Then what do you want to be? You know, I need to ask myself, what do I want to be? So automatically my mind will say, I want happiness. You will not get happiness by wanting it. You will have to create it. So how do I create it? I will I simply start by saying, I am a happy being. Or simple, I'm happy always. Now people will say, why should I say I'm happy when I'm not happy? Mm -hmm. If you are happy, then you don't need to say I'm happy. But if you're not happy, then you need to start saying I'm happy because when you create that thought is when that energy starts getting created. And when you start creating that energy, you will shift towards that vibration. But before that, again, I'll have to change the belief system that I can be happy even if nothing is going right here. The outside world, the inside world is different. So even if my situations are not perfect, my body is not well, my relationships are not in the best of thing right now, and I'm not doing well at work, fine. Nothing is perfect outside. But to get everything back in its right place, I will need to be fine. But if I lose it here, yeah. then there is no chance I will be able to sort this out and get it back. And, and how do I get into that zone? Right. And how often do I have to do know, that say that I am happy? Yeah. You know, and how, how does it work? I mean, so you know, basically, from, you know. I need to change my programming. So my programming is creating the thoughts based on what the reality is. Then I need to know the law. Sankalp se siddhi and sankalp se srishti are laws. A law is something which works always with everyone. So like the laws of science, these are also laws. So once I know the two laws, so one is my thoughts create my world. So that is sankalp se srishti. And second is Sankalp Se Siddhi, which means my thoughts become my reality. My thoughts manifest. I just have to fit these two things here. It's like law of gravity. I know if I throw something like this, it will fall like this. I won't go through it like that. So once I know it, I don't have to do anything. I mean, we are living out of it using the law of gravity throughout the day without even knowing that we are using the law of gravity. It's not completely in your control. So outside situations cannot always be in my control. So then people say, but I affirmed, I did this, but it didn't happen. Spirituality teaches us to use it here. Mm -hmm. Here, you might be able to buy your car, you might not be able to buy your car next year, depending on where the world goes, whether you still have your job, whether you mm -hmm. still have your salary. So even if you're manifest, you know, affirming it 100 times in a day, one factor outside and things might change. But this is the only world where there cannot be any other influence. So use it here and chances of things happening right here will be very high. So that is what meditation teaches that use the law of attraction and manifestation for here. So let's make a list of what all I want to be as a person, mm -hmm. not just what all I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Who do I want to be? So someone can say I want to be kind, someone can say I want to be peaceful, someone can say I want to be happy, someone can say 
I want to be fearless. You know, there's so much of fear mm -hmm. post COVID, it's in the air. Someone can say, I want to be powerful. So now choose who you want to be and simple vocabulary, I am. We used to say, I want to be. So mm -hmm. it will always remain as I want to be. The thought is equal to reality. Now keep that as the second equation. So if I say, I want to be happy, I will continue as a want only. Mm -hmm. so I have to say, I am happy. I don't want to get scared, will not work. I am fearless, I am confident. So no negative word in the affirmation. No, not, wish, mm. hope, no. It is. Yes. It is. It is, which means it already has happened. Even if I want to use it for my body and the body is unwell, then I will say my body is perfect, healthy. Check that column, mm. whichever one is not in mm. the normal mm. range, create an affirmation for that and say, my cholesterol is normal, give the figure you want. Mm. My thyroid is normal, give the, give the figure. So make the affirmation as specific as you want it to be. So what you're saying is so true because if I go to a doctor, hmm. I go with the faith that I will be perfect hmm. at the end of a surgery or yes. at the end of a treatment. Hmm. So I am going there with that belief and the comfort that right. the doctor will correct it, right? At right. least most yes, people who go course. to... Of so course. it is it is exactly the same thing where yes. you're just saying and you're envisioning a perfect scenario for your health. But we will many... just change the word. Huh. Only I will not go with I will be perfect. No, I am perfect. I am perfect yeah. and now I go yeah. to the doctor. Correct. So let the doctor play his part. I have to play my part by creating the right thought right. for that surgery. So even in a treatment, the mind of the patient has a very important role to play. So law of attraction and manifestation and affirmations work magically with the body. Mm -hmm. Because the closest to the mind is, is the, the body. body. Correct. So like when we say I can feel the other person's vibes, if we can feel other person's vibes, other person can feel my vibes, imagine how much my body can feel what I'm creating. Mm -hmm. So highest impact here, second highest impact here, third on people, fourth on the work we do and fifth out into the environment. Mm. So we can create affirmations for all these. Mm. So first, but ideally we should do for the mind because if the mind is fine, things will become easier outside. And you said you can keep repeating this and doing it often. So how often is, is often? I mean, is there a formula? <laughs> no, yeah. it's just a thought. So you can create it any number of times. There's not going to be any negative impact of creating mm. positive thoughts too many times. Yeah. Because negative thoughts too many times have an impact. Positive thoughts too many times is powerful. And our aim is that this should become our vocabulary. This should not rem remain as just a set of five thoughts. It should become our way of thinking. But timing is very important. That first thought in the morning and last thought in the night. These should definitely be the affirmation. Because the first thought in the morning is also going to go into the subconscious. The last thoughts before going to sleep are also going to go in the subconscious. So it's a deeper impact, you know, so I've sown the seed deeper. You've dug the yeah. mud and then sown the seed. During the day, it's more outside. But those two times we can never miss. And that's why, you know, we used to say, oh, what was my first thought in the morning? My day is not ah, going right. Yeah. Aapne kiska chehra aaj dekha tha. <laughs> that for me, it always works that mm. you use that as your last, that God's power and blessing. It's like a highest divine energy vibration yes. is your circle. So I would create eight to 10 thoughts like this as a package mm. and continue doing it till I've reached there. I can add something to it depending on what's going on in my life, but basic bundle remains the same. And I can same. say all of this one after the other at one, one point in other. time. Yeah, it, at least one minute yeah. I need to spend na, for yeah. it to go Correct. deeper in. And then first, just before going to sleep, first thought in the morning. So the first thought is of gratitude, gratitude to the divine, gratitude to your mind and body. Very important to be gratitude, grateful to your mind and body because these two are going to work with you throughout the day. Grateful to people and gratitude to nature because these are the four things that we are surrounded. So gratitude and then 10 affirmations, first thing in the morning. These two timings can never be missed, mm. never be missed. Anytime I'm having an opposite thought, I need to immediately pause and say the right one so it will counter that negative thought. And I would do just before my meal mm. because the meal Food. has a direct impact on the state of mind, not just on the body. So it is jaisa an, vesa, man. 
So food is not just nutrition, it is vibration. Now, where were those vegetables grown, then mm -hmm. which market they came to, then which shop and then who cooked and who served. These five vibrations are a part of that food. So I may have said in the morning, I'm peaceful, I'm powerful, I'm happy, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Who has grown that, who has cooked that, who has brought it here. If they were stressed, they were worried. My affirmations won't work for the next one year old. So if mm -hmm. I keep doing it. So we have to do the affirmation, but we also have to plug the leakages which come in. And food and water is a very big leakage because it's bringing the world's vibration into my life. Mm -hmm. Like the water of the city has the vibration of the city. Mm -hmm. So those are two times which we should like have a short bundle of those affirmations. Mm -hmm. Five seconds. Just say it. And then if one meditates or, you know, spends time in silence, I think the ability to do this more often automatically, automatically. builds in, in, into Do people, it right? ritualistically for yeah. about a month. Yeah. But look, as yeah. a duty, yeah. I have to do it. Discipline. And discipline. You know? After a month, you will see the result. And then after that, you don't need to you do discipline. Yeah. You want to do it because yeah. one person also shares and then it's a ripple effect. Yeah. So yeah. it's like when I change, my world starts And then changing. when I change, I change in many ways, right? Yes. I change like what you said, gratitude becomes natural to me. Compassion becomes natural to me. Giving, you know, becomes natural to me. I think all of these are human qualities that exist probably in everyone. You know, you need a, a trigger, you know, to, to, to make so that happen. These qualities are emotional health. Yeah. And the opposite are emotional weakness. Correct. So it is in everybody. Yeah. But if I take care, I'm healthy. If I'm not, in simple words, my karma creates my destiny. Yeah. Now I've changed the quality of my karma. So my destiny has to change. Right. But most important is it does not mean that everything outside will always be perfect. Mm. There can be things which are not your way, but they really don't impact you in a way that they would have impacted you earlier. So even today, someone can behave in a way which is not as per my expectation. But then now I'm not going to create 100 thoughts about mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So the journey was earlier to be critical and judgmental. How could they not do this? Then it shifted to, okay, full stop. I'm not going to create any thought for them. Shifted to now you can bless them. Mm -hmm. You can bless them. Okay. It's like someone didn't have something. So you gave. Mm -hmm. So if someone is not behaving right, they don't have something. Mm -hmm. They don't have that happiness right now in them. They don't have that confidence. So they are behaving in a different manner. Give them. Mm. But we were not giving them earlier. Mm. This is yeah. the easiest yeah, one yeah, to do. Yeah. You don't have to take out extra time. <laughs> you don't have to go out of You're your way. You're just there. Your You're presence. Just, yeah, 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 so yeah, just yeah. being who you are yeah. is radiating power to Correct. people. So people will say, oh, I got those vibes from that person. I did not. Yeah. So we are more focused on what vibes we are oh, getting. getting right. What vibes are <laughs> what we giving? giving? Yeah, yeah. That is important. Yeah. So if I raise my vibration, lower energy will not affect so me. So how, how did that change come in your life through the journey? Are there instances, you know, uh, which... Because of obviously all of us, you yeah, know, have it's had... it's been that. a long journey yeah. now. So it's very gradual. Yeah. It doesn't come like today, this yeah. and tomorrow like this. It's not that yeah. obviously. But it's a very gradual journey. But because on the journey, the priority has been that. Mm. So whatever I keep as my priority, attention will always go there. So once that is my priority, that my state of mind should be perfect. Mm. That's my priority. Mm. My priority is not work should be perfect. Right. My priority is not what I achieve should be perfect. So spirituality taught me that as mm. the fundamental mm. thing. Sthiti thik honi chahiye. Par sthiti kaise bhi ho sakti hai. Before that it was, situation should be perfect. Mm. So priority changed. Now, once priority changed, attention is always there. Attention is always there. So, five out of ten times, it will be there. Mm. If it goes off to the other track, again, attention is there. So, you so bring it, it back, back yeah. sooner than what it would be before. And even if I've messed it up and made a big mistake, then sit back and again work on yourself rather than blaming the other person. So, the whole dynamics of how we are going through every scene of the day, starts changing. Mm -hmm. It's a very, it's it's absolutely opposite to what I would have lived my life earlier. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's mm -hmm. completely opposite. Mm -hmm. So that's why I understand that actually it's very simple. It's just getting the equations right. So everybody wants to be perfect, but they want to be perfect in achievement. Prioritize perfection here. Your achievement will be more than your capacity. Mm -hmm. It will not be more than other people, but it will be more than your capacity. Everybody wants to have a perfect, healthy body. 
be perfect here, it will be healthier than what you could have achieved otherwise. So once you understand that, then it's just a journey. Mm. So now throughout the day, you know, it's like how in school, we used to play that lemon and spoon race. Mm. That lemon was the priority. Right. Even if I reach the line first. But there's no lemon, it didn't matter. So it's nothing. Right. So that lemon is here. Yeah. Now that I have to remember, that I have to walk. I want to go towards my finishing line. But I do not want to reach the finishing line having dropped this at the beginning yeah. there. So we can drop this at the morning, first hour right. of the morning, like right. hassle, bustle, you're... It's dropped yeah. in the morning. Now go throughout the whole day as a consequence, the whole day. So is keep that to... lemon as your keep guiding it. thing. So now, and wherever you get, you know, it's also is... our, you know, the tortoise and the hare yes. race, right? You yes. have to finish the race, Absolutely. you know, slow and steady. At least you'll win. You so know, that, is, than... that is mindfulness. Yeah. Yeah. That is mindfulness. Yeah. So you say, how can yeah. I take care throughout yeah. the day? Why you yeah. cannot take care? This is yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's like, you know, we see the women in the village, they have these four matkas on their head and mm. they have the baby in the arm. They will walk on that very, very narrow I track know. which yeah. balancing all this, but they know the priority is the baby. Yeah. Anything happens on the way, they don't drop the baby. Yeah. This can fall, but the baby will not fall. Yeah. That baby is my mind. Mm -hmm. That is my priority. Yeah. I can have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of tasks to do. If there is a crisis, if there is a challenge, I know what to drop and what to keep. Mm -hmm. So I know I want to keep this even if everything falls. Yeah. Because if, if this is fine, Everything will come back again. No, if I lose it on this. And that's where the think right just becomes so much right. more powerful, right? Because yeah. manifestation, everything else is right if affirmation, everything if the mind is right. Otherwise, you will not make affirmations or you might make wrong affirmations. Yes. What you right Unaware, say. we are making yeah, wrong yeah, affirmations. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, right? but because that is, we are not aware. It's our yeah, vocabulary. Yeah. Even if I say, oh, Rajan is like this. This is an affirmation. Yeah. People say it for their children. Oh, my child. They can't do this. Yeah. You know, negative affirmations is something we're doing throughout the day because we are repeating what we are seeing. Correct. So if my child is not studying, obviously I will say my child is not studying is what yeah. people will say. So they will say 10 times in a day. They've got board exams, they are not studying. Got board exams, they are not studying. They are not eating right. They're sitting with the TV throughout the day. They talk. So you are looking at reality, making that your thought, speaking it out, putting that energy into the air, setting that vibration to the child. And after six months, you will see more of that happening yeah. because that was your affirmation. Mm -hmm. Now the affirmation is, if the child is not studying, I will consciously create a thought. My child is studying more than their <laughs> capacity. Their concentration is highest. This, that's it. Mm -hmm. Keep doing this, radiating that. First, keep yourself yeah. calm, yeah. radiate that energy into the house, send that vibration to the child and watch the magic happen. No, and what you say, right, the goal for everyone is to become the best version of themselves. Yes. Actually, what you rightly said here, you become a better version than the best version of yourself yes. without you really having, having to do anything, to do anything much right? about and, it. Nothing. And if we go back to the thinkright.me conversation, right, and today what we have made it available free for millions yes. and anybody in the world to go and use is this daily journey yes. of affirmation and what you rightly mentioned, even journaling. Right. right. So we've Very also important. created that, that you yeah. journal it, you note it, because all of that, that reflection yes. enables you to do a lot more of it. And I think it's a virtuous cycle. Yes. You know, the more you do this, the, the, the more, more you journal, the more mindful yeah. you get. Package. And we come back to that, yeah. to that yeah. original point that you said yeah. that if you can be controlling that, everything, everything around your world will change and your world will shape the universe oh, and the world that we all live the in. world outside. Right. I think, yes. and it's such Absolutely. a, such a powerful, you know, thought and exercise that, you know, in our own humble little way, we are trying to do through thinkright.me and our only wish and of course, uh, you know, affirmation is yes, that everybody, everybody. <laughs> everybody, you know, on the yes. planet who is able to use this, yeah. uses it to make, not for anything else, to shape their own lives and, and you know, get to the best version Actually, of, everyone of should, everyone who's using it now or has used it, seen the benefit of it, they just need to do one thing share it with at least one person more. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. today if I go into a shop and I like a product, right. I come back and tell five people. Yeah. I think we there is a power to shape and change and help society, you know, uh, together yes. to make the world a better place. And Absolutely. no, I think it's been such a wonderful, inspirational conversation, you know, as always. And, you know, one always goes back 
so energized to want to do more whenever one talks with you. Because uh, every time we're using high energy words, you know, see the, <laughs> yeah, why yeah. we're feeling better. Yeah, because yeah. for one hour, we're using high vibration words as our vocabulary. Right. This is the power of affirmations. Yeah. We have not spoken any negative line. Yeah. The mind and the body automatically starts feeling the energy. Yeah. Because one hour, we're speaking only that kind of vocabulary. Now we want to make this our vocabulary, right. our vocabulary. So then you will be feeling, I mean, everyone would be feeling energetic here and here, even if you worked 18 hours a day, because it's not the work which tires us. It is our thought process which tires us and it brings us down like that. If we had multiple versions of you and multiple mm -hmm. people being able to have that one-hour conversation. We have affirmations on the app. The All world, that we have yes, to do is absolutely. just use it every so day. So that's the one way to, to access and to really have yes, this yes. affirmation and conversation. Yes. You know, the, the, the omnipresence in a way one could say of good thoughts, good and positive affirmation. So again, thank you so much. Thank you, Chief. It's always thank been so a much. lovely conversation. Thank you so much. Thank Om you. Shanti. Thank, thank you. Thank you.